It's all terribly exuberant and intense. Much less tradition here than in Lourdes, but plenty of swaggering authority. The pastor is Ted Haggard, a powerful man, chairman of the National Association of Evangelicals, and the new life is Ted's Evangelical Vatican. Sadly, the warmth of the welcome would prove short-lived when I started talking to Pastor Haggard about the Bible and scientific fact. You'll find yourself wrong on some things, right on some other things. But please, in the process of it, don't be arrogant. We exalt you here this morning, Lord God. Everything that's within us wants to give you praise and glory and honor because we are so grateful for what you've done. The New Life Church in Colorado Springs is a bastion of American religious conservatism. Thank you for transforming our lives. Thank you, Lord God. I've come to try to understand why what I see as irrational faith is thriving and why it's attacking science. We pray and everybody says, Amen. Welcome to the United States. Thank you very much. Pastor Ted Haggard has a hotline to God and to George Bush. A staunch Republican, he claims he has a weekly conference call with the president and has also rubbed shoulders with Tony Blair and Ariel Sharon. Well, that was really quite a show you gave us uh, today. A fair bit of money seems to have been spent here. Yes. I wanted pe people to be able to worship and enjoy it and then be in a setting where the speaker is close to them. That's why it's in the round. And so they can be up close to me and so I can look at them. Well, it's certainly very effective what you do. I mean, it seemed to me to have all the, the arts of... I mean, I was almost reminded, if you'll forgive me, of a sort of Nuremberg rally. I mean, uh, such incredibly... Well, I Dr. Goebbels would have been proud. I don't know anything about the Nuremberg rallies, but I know lots of Americans think of it as a rock concert. What can I give to you that you don't already have? When I prepare a presentation, I don't prepare it to get a group of lunatics to come in and just say, oh yes, Pastor Ted, you're just so wonderful. I believe everything you say. I would be opposed to that. Here the Bible says, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. This is talking about us. We've been chosen for, what's that word there, everybody? Obedience. Say it out loud. Obedience. Obedience. Oh, have been chosen. Every person needs, at the center, life and death to us. It makes us who we are. Yet most of us, as we grow up and become responsible adults, accept that life is complex, that we live in a world of subtle shades, not sharp black and white. I worry that these born-agains are being persuaded to return to childish certainties. The only truth they need is God. God as interpreted for them by their pastor. Everybody knows that we believe the Bible is the Word of God. And today I talked about love your neighbor as yourself. Now I didn't have to produce evidence, sociological evidence or psychological book. evidence. The book how, is true. How can you say they're asked to think for themselves and they're told everything in this book is true? Because they don't have to believe that. I mean, the evidence yeah. I presented, you can go and read this book, it says one thing, that book says another, yeah. that book says another, that book... Well, the evidence the I can present is we've got a book written over 1,500 years by 40 different authors on one subject, and it doesn't contradict itself. Where you it can not You can't give me two, two experts in certain areas that are in the same generation, in the same area of study, that don't contradict themselves. That's the beauty of science. We have, we have lots of evidence, mm -hmm. and the evidence is all the time coming in, mm -hmm. constantly changing our, our minds. Right. And uh, whereas you have one book, which you say right. doesn't change, exactly. that's not getting to think for themselves. And we've all decided as a group to go into the holy place. True or false? True. 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 Everybody say true. true. All right, then. That's the 
But my biggest concern is that evangelicals like Haggard are foisting evident falsehoods on their flock. The evangelicals are denying scientific evidence just to support Bronze Age myths. And then, of course, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. We fully embrace the scientific method as American evangelicals. And we think as time goes along, as we discover more and more facts, that we'll learn more and more about how God created the heavens and the earth. The scientific method clearly demonstrates that the world is four and a half billion years old. I mean, do you accept that? Yeah, you know what you're doing is you are, you are accepting some of the views that are accepted in some portions of the scientific community as fact. Where in, where in fact, your grandchildren might listen to the tape of you saying that and laugh at you. You want to bet? Sometimes it's hard for a human being to study the ear or study the eye and think that happened by accident. Uh, I beg your pardon, did you say by accident? Yeah. What do you mean by accident? That the eye just formed itself somehow. And who says it did? Well, some evolutionists say it. Not a single one that I've ever met. Really? Really. Oh. You obviously know nothing about the subject of evolution. Or maybe you haven't met the people I have. <laughs> But you see, you, you do understand. You do understand that this issue right here of intellectual arrogance is the reason why people like you have a difficult problem with people of faith. I don't communicate an error of superiority over the people because I know so much more. And if you only read the books I know, and if you only knew the scientists I knew, then you would be great like me. Well, sir... There could be many things that you know well. There are other things that you don't know well. As you age, you'll find yourself wrong on some things, right on some other things. But please, in the process of it, don't be arrogant. We just had a rather disconcerting experience. We were just packing up our stuff ready to go, and he suddenly drove up in his pickup truck and said, get off my land immediately, I'll have you thrown in jail, and I'll seize your film. And he then said a very curious thing, he said, you called my children animals. Afterwards we worked out that what he must have meant was that I talked about evolution. He thought I was saying that his flock were animals, which of course in a sense I was, because all humans are animals. But... Haggard's approach is to say, let's teach evolution as just another theory alongside the Bible's creation story, also called intelligent design, which claims God helped evolution along. It sounds so reasonable, doesn't it? But of course it's nothing of the sort. These are not equal theories. Evolution by natural selection is supported by mountains of evidence while creation contradicts the evidence and is only backed by some ancient scribblings. With Haggard and his followers on their doorstep, the rational atheist minority here feel so browbeaten that they've organized themselves into what they call a free thinkers group, which meets furtively, perhaps to fantasize about moving to Canada. How nice to meet you. Hey, Richard, it's wonderful. <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's so How nice. Do free thinkers in America feel pretty beleaguered at the moment? I've had my fair share of vitriolic uh, letters and uh, messages from parents saying that uh, I'm Satan's incarnate for teaching evolution. And there are ministries here in Colorado Springs that indoctrinate students uh, in summer programs to challenge biologists, biology teachers in the, in the classroom. And so that organized campaign. Oh, they're organized campaigns, control. absolutely. I do not tolerate it because... I but they have this yeah. mindset that they are right. If a person comes out in this country as an atheist, they're likely to suffer career damage. They might lose a job. They might not get a job. They might lose an opportunity for an apartment. Waking up uh,